this overwhelming force that is coming against Israel, and it seems that Israel doesn't have a chance against these overwhelming odds. Armed with the latest type of weapons, Israel won't seem to have a chance, and yet God is going to miraculously intervene supernatural events. Now, interestingly enough, and I guess for our benefit, Newsweek magazine this week had a very fascinating article on uh, the peril of the world being uh, destroyed by an asteroid or a comet uh, and uh, the article was very interesting reading when, you, when they describe what happens when, uh, say, an uh, asteroid uh, the size of, um, of a building, say the size of this building, of an asteroid would, would hit the Earth. Um, it would leave a, a, a giant uh, hole. It would vaporize the dirt which would go up into the atmosphere, the rocks and all, and then they begin to fall back like fiery rain uh, because as they're falling back through the atmosphere, the speed and so forth, they would uh, turn into fire. And read it. You'd think that the scientists are reading out of Ezekiel or Revelation uh, when they describe uh, what would happen uh, if uh, we had a collision with an asteroid. And... Uh, we have, according to the uh, article, about 10 possibilities a year of an asteroid hitting us. Uh, they seem to be developed out there near Jupiter someplace, and then they uh, get kicked out of orbit, and they come in an orbit, and you never know when it's going to happen. And uh, a lot of them have, well, we had one just a year or so ago, and it